Hello everybody! I'm really glad to welcome all of you to today's video, which is another episode of my best of series. And today I will tell you about my top 10 most favorite iris or better to say oris root dominant scents. And I find it is very interesting that when you look into the notes breakdown of some perfume, you can actually see the note of iris. And I believe that the perfume material that is used to create that IRC composition is not sourced from the floral part of the flower, but from its root. But if you can share with us some helpful information about that topic, I would really appreciate that, as well as I would love to know, do you like iris or oris root-centered fragrances? I still don't know how to call them, in my opinion. It is more irisy when it smells more floral, and it is more oris root-like when it smells woody and aromatic. So, in today's video, I have 10 luxurious perfumes from niche and indie brands, and they all smell super differently, which is the beauty of this video. So, there is something for each taste, and I would love to hear your iris or <laughs> oris root favorite scents, because I definitely have more than top 10 in my collection. I would love to do a part two, so if you're interested in that, give this video a thumbs up. And um, I'm always looking for a new iris scent, so I would love to know what are your recommendations. I always appreciate them. And with that being said, let's get started and talk about fantastic irisy perfumes. And the first one on this list is from the indie house from America that is called Imaginary Authors, and the fragrance is called Like This. Oh, unknown. And I actually have a full review on this perfume, and um, I've reviewed the majority of fragrances that I'll feature in today's video, so definitely check out the description box down below where I will leave all the helpful information and links to the previous videos of from the Best of series. So, Oh, unknown is quite an artistic scent in which Oris Root is presented in aromatic way. And being a huge tea fan, I recognize dark aroma of black tea with smoky facets, and I find that is so interesting to smell that smokiness with real Oris butter. It has balsamic and musky notes, which take Oris Root to the mysterious place, and sandalwood actually smoothens the composition, adding a layer of dust. So it is a dusty, aromatic, um, smoky tea-like iris, which is very long-lasting, and this is that romantic composition that I personally prefer to wear when it's colder and really chilly outside, because it's a great performer, it smells so nice when it is raining, and I think that if you like more woody, aromatic, uh, oris root scents, then this is a great one to try. If you have any experience with imaginary author fragrances, let me know what are your favorites. So I've told you that uh, iris or oris root can be very different in the perfumery, and Almond Harmony by the House of Oud, and it looks like this, which is so eye-catching and just beautiful. As the name says, it is all about almonds and their sweet powdery scents. So notes of tonka, Heliotrope and iris create a makeup-y feel, which really smells powdery, and I like it very much. And sweet vanilla feels quite luxurious, but it doesn't take the scent to that gourmand side, and I like that too, so it is not overly sweet. And for me, Almond Harmony is a perfect example of a well-done powdery scent with no harsh ages, because it is a well-rounded scent that smells of warm and powdered skin. So. I would say that this fragrance is not all about iris, but more for those who prefer some complex compositions with some flowers in the background. And it is a versatile scent that can be worn without limitations. It is more feminine because of that powderiness, and uh, I would say that there is even some greenery in the start that goes away pretty quickly. So if you're looking for a true powdery iris that feels really luxurious in a beautiful bottle, that is Almond Harmony, in my opinion. However, if you tend to 
stay away from powdery scents, I would recommend to check out Clubs of Iris by the indie house based in Turkey that is called Regalian Istanbul and I was introduced to it at Accents and when I discovered this particular fragrance Clubs of Iris I was blown away because it is that very bold and surely recognizable iris which smells green and woods dominate in here as well as violet leaf which smells almost metallic and that is so interesting because you can smell iris and it is metallic sharp and green and i have never experienced iris like that before so it has interesting notes breakdown and there are woody fruity citrusy floral spicy elements so it is quite a complex scent with that vintage vibe it smells a little bit nostalgic something from the past and I would say that besides iris, prominent notes in here are vetiver, cedarwood and carnation. So instead of being floral or sweet and powdery, this iris is grounded, woody and it is a unique um, take on iris note that smells extremely grown up. So if you're looking for that vintage, woody and green iris, that is definitely clubs of iris. Just so intense. I would recommend to wear it in the nighttime or if you're looking for a real hardcore and very um, mature confident scent. Next two perfumes are from the same indie house, 4160 Tuesdays. And I believe I have already talking about both of them, but I want to mention them really quickly. So Paradox is one of my boyfriend's most favorite perfumes and it is a nice play between creamy, ever so slightly sugary violets and floral aromatic iris. And it actually has a beautiful story that you can read on the official website, but actually it was just created for a person who couldn't smell a lot of things. And um, I believe violets were the ones that the person could smell. So. It has quite a sharp opening of more violet leaf than a violet flower and it also smells of pettigrain with that real green uh, sharpness and I like that but then it develops as uh, a beautiful aromatic uh, and really delicate purple iris and it has just a very long lasting violet dry down. It is a very comforting scent, my boyfriend enjoys it very much so if you prefer something with a lot of violets and iris and just a purple composition, then that is definitely paradox. But, um, oh, I actually just uh, switched them. So yeah, that was Eat Flowers, that is actually paradox. But yeah, Eat Flowers anyway. That is a totally different scent. It smells of heady floor, floor, florals, flowers. And instead of being just dominant on iris, it is just such an abstract scent, I can't even describe it. It just reminds me of something from the past and I told that Sarah McCartney. And uh, it's just like a celebration of flowers that is that mystery when perfume doesn't smell of something, but it just smells like perfume. So it is just really, really good. It is intense. It is that signature scent type of a fragrance. I don't know, I really need to rave about it because it is definitely better than that Baccarat Rouge that I've already reviewed, even though it is not iris, but that is just the same idea. It is a bold statement with this fragrance. And now let's move on to something very special. I have Eclix by Tiziana Terenzi right here in this uh, stunning, absolutely mind-blowing bottle and it is a powdery explosion with layers of talc. So if you want that powdery talc in your perfume, that is Eclix. But I like that it is not all about like sweetness, uh, if you know what I'm talking about. So it is one and only, according to my mom, and in my opinion, this is that very luxurious and done in a truly Tiziana Terenzi style. So Paula Terenzi is just a magician because this is such a beautiful powdery perfume that is not sweet. It even has like a metallic uh, silver edge to it. And um, to me, it definitely smells like sure, but uh, really slow seduction oh, with all kinds of delicious weapons such as floral and green note citruses and precious woods and its secret is in teasing musky note in the dry down. So it is an extraordinary work of power trancy and if you're looking for something from this line that is very powdery, that is Eclix. It is really 
However, if you are a gourmand lover and warm vanilla scents is what you crave and you want it to be extra long-lasting and gently powdery, then I'm excited to introduce you to our sublime which is by Bijong Parfum. I have already reviewed this perfume line, which is created by a master perfumer, Cecilia Zerokian, whose work I really enjoy and am very proud to own a lot of her masterpieces, such as Aura Sublime is, because I'm telling you, this is a true addiction. Once you discover it, you need it in your life, you'll be obsessed with it, because this vanilla is not a joke. Iris's here is not too much. It is more about salty, delicious, not too animalic ambergris, delicious, voluptuous benzoin and vanilla that will just um, wash all your worries away. I am not joking. This perfume is so good. It is essential gourmand scent that is just a true pleasure to have on yourself. For me, this is that cozy perfume that puts me in a great mood, but it is enough for a special occasion. It is unisex, it is just fantastic, with a bit of powderiness, but iris is not really dominant in there at all. So if you are just starting out with iris and you want it to be delicious and luxurious and one of a kind, that is our sublime extract de parfum, so you can only imagine what a hypnotizing sillage it will bring you. But if you're thinking, oh my god, I don't like powdery, I don't like sweet, then I have a delirious iris for you, which is not your typical iris, believe me. This one has that whiskey opening, which I actually helped to develop, and I love that sweet, boozy, alcoholy part, which, um, in my opinion, and fades away too quickly and then the scent actually transforms into something very earthy. I personally don't like earthiness in the perfumery but I know a lot of people, especially men do, and that is that more masculine iris which is not girly at all. It definitely shows that rooty side of iris beautifully and it has a bit of sweetness in the background, which is ever so slightly noticeable. But this fragrance is so heavy, this is not a perfume that you want to mess with. It is intense, it will overwhelm if you overdo it. So just spray it um, carefully, and it is a great perfume for the nighttime, for colder weather when you're going out. You don't want to go on a date with this perfume spray too much. It is a perfume for parties for out activities. And the next one is La Teza by Maschi Milano. I have already talked about it on my channel a few times, and for me this is the scent of successful life. When you open a bottle of champagne in your library with your friends and you dance, you sit in your library reading some books and you smell that old paper scent and the leathery furniture and just like wooden shelves. It's just like such a relaxing and satisfying glamorous scent in which you can experience that true Oris butter. And it was created by Luca Mafoy, who is a very uh, talented perfumer in my opinion, and this perfume has three qualities. It is a little bit watery, it is definitely buttery, and it is spicy thanks to the carrot seed twist in there, which makes it unusual and addictive. So if you wanted that universal, versatile, unisex, or is butter scent, that is La Teza. That is the scent of successful satisfaction. But in case you're just starting out with the iris, once again, you don't want to go too harsh into the um, powderiness of uh, iris or like the earthiness of uh, oris root. You just want something easygoing, something very pleasant. And in that case, I recommend uh, Vanilla de Iris by Ormond Jane. And this is such a great, fresh and lively vanillic iris. So it, it's, it's fantastic. It is all bubbly, it is all super fun, and to me, it's just like nothing dominates in here. It's just like pure elegance. I love to wear it when I don't know what to wear. This is like perfume that you grab and you're good to go and it is perfect for any kind of occasion. And to me, it smells like summer when you're drinking a delicious sweet lemonade with vanilla cookies and uh, citrus slices. So it's just uh, so yummy and delicious and once again elegant so that carefree 
sensation with um, something sophisticated is paired in one scent and if you want something like that I recommend that scent. And we are coming to the end of this video and have something very special to share with you. This perfume is by Jo Malone and it is called Oris and Sandalwood. And I actually want to tell you a story how I discovered it. So when I first smelled it in the store, I was so into it, I couldn't even realize what that is that attracts me about it so much, but I just sprayed the mouillette and brought it home and my grandma from Ukraine came to visit us at that time and she just smelled it and she told me, wow, this is a perfume. And I totally understand because it's just so one of a kind. You smell it and it just moves something inside of you. So I actually was so in love with this perfume, but it was just a little bit too much for me. It was just like whoa, I'm, I'm not ready for this kind of scent, but, but I just loved it, so I got it for my mom as a Christmas gift, and she wears it a lot in the winter time. It's just so good. It uh, is very strong, so it projects intensely, but it is never annoying, never overwhelming. I don't know what it is, but this is some sort of magic, and it smells more of a smoky sandalwood and orris wood, but not like in a church way, like more in aromatic, woody way and there is definitely some sort of smoke in there so it is definitely a very luxurious and mesmerizing potion of um most like i would say even romantic and slightly um, religious something something i don't know it's it's something that you need to test if you have already checked it out and smelled it let me know what do you think about it and if not i highly recommend and tell me do you like jo Malone in general if so what's your favorite from their line so yeah my friends that completes this video i really hope that you enjoyed watching it as you can tell i introduced you to a lot of different iris the oris fruit perfumes you know i'm like a little bit confused with this whole theme but in my opinion some of these fragrances smell more like um an iris flower for example in here there is more of a iris floral presence as well as in here and in here and uh, then in this one this one this one this one you can smell more of that oris butter and i personally am always attracted to iris perfume when i smell it in the store i'm like oh my god i want it because it is very hard for me to mess up an irisy fragrance and uh, if you want to see a video in which i talk only about um, designer iris perfumes then definitely like this video and tell me that you want to see that one in the comments as well as your most favorite um, irisy or sort fragrance because i'm always looking for new ones i just can't get enough oh and definitely comment below which kind of perfume you prefer, powdery, sweet and uh, floral iris or ruddy, aromatic, woody oris wood. I would love to know that as well as tell me which next best of you would like to see. I'm thinking about vetiver. I don't really like vetiver, but I have a lot of vetiver perfumes, so I can do that, but I'm always open for your suggestions, so let me know them in the comments. You have a lot to comment, guys. So yeah, with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up because I just love to see them and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I really appreciate that and ring that bell so you will be updated about my newest videos. And once again, check out the description box down below. All the links to the official websites of these brands are there. I purchase fragrances in the majority of cases from the official website. So online shopping is, you know, <laughs> a true surviving. Um, thing and yeah anyway i'm rambling thank you so much have a nice day and uh, let me know your opinion and your take on this topic in the comments so let's chat and stay tuned smell good and we'll see each other in the next one really soon bye guys